guys what's up so i did tell y'all that i'm gonna be doing story times from now to now so basically today's um video today's vlog is about depression um and i just feel like i need to talk about this because there are lots of persons that are depressed and nobody really knows because nobody really understand um we are face or we are go through more while and you know most of the time you don't you don't have anybody to talk to because you just feel like you can't trust people and it's not even the fact that you can't trust people it's just that sometimes when you talk to people and you tell them that listen like i'm going through this and i'm done like i don't know what else to do i don't know where else to turn i don't know who to talk to i don't know what to say like they're gonna say that well you got yourself in that mess you gotta know how to fix it you gotta do this you gotta do that but guys i just want y'all to remember this not everybody is as strong as you and i might be or you and i might not be as strong as other people so with that said we have to always try to take other people's feelings into consideration i for example I really need to start use up my start use up body cream. Cause I really need to start bleach. Yeah, big man thing. I need to start bleach ASAP. I need to get my skin nice and clean. Yes, I get a body cream. I'm gonna use a body cream. The official drip, guys. Remember, I sell products. So, um, yeah, I was saying that um, a lot of persons are depressed and you don't know. You have people walking around. They will smile with you. They will talk to you. And then they're gonna kill themselves later. And then you're like, oh my god, but but just I talk to the person, yeah? but just they say with the person, yeah? why the person yeah, this, why the person yeah, that. But you don't understand what the person is going through. A person can come sit and smile in your face. A person can come sit and smile in your face. And you don't know that that person is hurting because what? Not everybody knows how to express themselves. Not everybody trusts people. And not everybody knows that it is okay to break down. It is okay to, when the pain is there, it is okay to feel the pain. Embrace the pain and let the pain strengthen you. Let me share an experience with you guys, right? Let me share an experience with you guys. So, when I was growing up, when I was, when I was younger growing up, I used to bottle everything like it doesn't matter what happened to me I used to bottle it and then whenever I try to express myself I normally express myself in a way where people don't understand my eyebrows look like shit whenever my eyebrows look like shit this is how my face looks can't help that and they don't know I'm wear the wig and then the wig did the right just so it did whiter than this but you cannot blame me back now but yeah my face does look like shit right now I don't know why I'm gonna fix that though get my eyebrows done and get my hair done and stuff so yeah guys what i was saying is this right um i've i was in the situation where i used to i used to butter my feelings it doesn't matter what somebody said to me or what they did to me i used to butter my feelings because i used to feel like i was alone my reason for feeling like i was alone back then was because my grandmother had a lot of grandchildren living with her at the moment and we all live with my grandmother um it was about 10 to 8 of us living together and the household is never under 10 kids so always 10 kids or more especially on holidays when everybody else comes up so on no given time is there gonna be your time where you're just gonna just where you're just gonna have like a grandmother to just sit and chat and chill with because mama had to always be on her two feet she had to always be up and about talking to the other kids making sure that food is in the house washing cooking she go to church so she uh, she's always on the bible then you know people overseas because you know my auntie they must overseas she have to talk to them and stuff so we in the house like we used to get attention but we never used to get sufficient attention to the point where they can just go sit down and hold a big deep conversation with, it with like my grandmother I say mama yo like this um, and you know that used to happen when i was older when i got pregnant with ariana that was when me and my grandmother actually started having real conversation that was when we started having open conversation where she would talk to me and when she's talking i would listen and when i'm talking she would listen but when i was younger growing up um i don't think my grandmother understood me much i don't think she understood me much what i know though is that she loved me she don't care who you be she don't care how big you be how low you be she don't care 
as long as it hurt me it hurt she and that's just that that's on period and that is for all her grandkids for anybody anybody disrespect with anybody hurt with anybody make her feel small with grandmother good did i feel it 100 percent i've never heard my grandmother curse a bad word from the day i've known her until the day she died i've never heard her use expletives i've never seen her like you, you know like some christian people like you know Yo, 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 they look at Bogo Bogo and yo, we see them and wind up like yo, 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 we catch them one and two times. You know, I've never, I've never been the fortunate one to see my grandmother do any of those. I've never seen my grandmother drink like alcohol. I've never seen that before. I, I know that she drink Malta, but Malta is not an alcohol, you know? And um, I just, I don't know. I came on here to talk about one thing. I'm talking about the other thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Y'all know how we vent. Y'all know how we vent over here. Yeah. So guys, um, I was never the child to just go sit down and have conversations with people. No, I realize that my life now is better because I'm more open. It's better because I'm more outspoken. It's better because I don't take bullshit. If you do me something, I'd rather to come and tell you or I'd rather to come and ask you how it go more than sit around and probably gossip about you and don't tell you personally how I'm feeling. I'm not going to say that I won't talk to other people about it, but you will know that this is going on in my mind, in my head too. I'm not going to say it to them and not say it to you. That's not me. I'm going to always be open. I'm going to always be truthful to me because that is what I realize is the key so being a bigger woman being a better woman being the best version of dion guys i just want y'all to think about this think about getting older getting wiser and still feeling like you're not enough still feeling like you're not it still feeling like you're lost and then i want y'all to think about the reason why this is so it can be a man it can be a friend it can be family you get me? You cannot pay your own bills. You cannot live in your own apartment. You cannot feed yourself. You have a good job. You have a car. You're doing everything that is okay. But why am I still feeling alone? Why am I still feeling like there's nobody else in my life? Why am I still hurting? Why am I still in pain? Why am I still crying? Why am I still stressing? Why don't I feel like my world is complete even though I have everything that I want? And this now, you have to try to figure out what's the problem. The problem is not always you. It's not always you. It can be your partner. It can be your best friend. It can be your environment. The problem, the, the problem can be any little thing that you encounter on your day-to-day -day experiences, on your day-to-day -day walks, on your day-to-day -day talks. So do this. Whenever you find yourself in a situation that is, that is hard for you to come out of, sometimes it's best sometimes it's best to just let it flow and let god work my reason for saying this is a lot of females find themselves in abusive relationships and because of talking yelling and fighting back we lose our lives we lose our lives and nothing comes from it because some of the times they don't even know that it's the same dirty man well, I was I put him on pan yo, kill you like nobody knows you get me Ariana give me the phone give me the phone who doing that who is doing that Ariana you you can't do that Aisha Yeah, guys, so basically what I was saying is this, right? You, we, 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 we find ourselves in these situations and we don't know how to get out. So I'm not encouraging any female to stay in this situation. I would never do that. But I would suggest some of the times when they come and they're being loud and vulgar, just ignore them. Ignore them. Because men like this, they don't change. They will never change. And they will kill you like it or not they will kill you especially if them tell themselves say yeah for them property then we hurt you best believe them we hurt you hello yeah, i'm not hear you i can't go pay them 75 
Um, you can go to any supermarket. No, no, any store like Top Queens or Eric Fashion. Or even pharmacy. Any pharmacy or any store. Bookstore or pharmacy. You get me, guys? And that is it for Food for the Thought today. Big up on yourself. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Oh, yeah, guys. Please leave your comments below so I know what you guys think about my little much. Mm -hmm.